I so freaking drunk back again in the Kitchen of Dreams with something that he's quite excited about. And it's a lager, craft lager, and it's from Innocent Gun, Scottish Brewery, and it's their tequila caspia. 5.1 on a Richter scale. Got this in Aldi's of all places. Aldi's! And it's in Gun! I was bowled over when I saw it. Firstly, when I saw it, I thought, oh, I'll be an alcoholic. <laughs> and I walked up and it said tequila. I went, oh, better have that then. Uh, yeah, tequila Caspia. It's a mature blonde. Now, years and years ago, way back when I started beer reviewing, Innocent Gun used to do a blonde lager. Lagery beer blonde. It was just called Innocent Gun Blonde. And they discontinued it. And do you want to know something? It was my favourite. My favourite uh, uh, beer. It really was. It was superb. So anyone from Innocent Gun watches this, please bring it back. But I was excited to see this. So let's get it sparked open to kill her. Something that I like. So I've dug out my wee Spanish glass for this. I made an arse out of pour. So here we have it, the culprit in the glass. The innocent gun tequila cask. Very dark in colour. I've got to admit that almost like uh, like the darkness of a Tenant's Lager or Budva or Staropramen. That kind of darkness about it, which I'm quite surprised. I thought it would be a wee bit lighter, paler. So let's get in for a nose. That's what I'm coming up with. <laughs> I'm just coming up with some bready notes. A slight whiff of tequila. I'm hoping that I'm going to get the cask and I'm going to get oakiness and everything on the taste buds, but I'm certainly not getting that at all. But I quite like it, the nice thick head on it as well for a 5.1 beer. So, anyway, it's all about the taste. So, anyway, so fucking drunk drinking an innocent gun tequila cask beer 5.1 on a Richter scale. Let's see what it's all about. Sandy, you got a Hmm. Well, <clears throat> all I can say to that is it's a decent blonde lager <coughs> um, sort of beer. It's uh, hints of a uh, Citrus, it's got a sort of bitter back end, almost like a, an IPA uh, with the dreaded grapefruit in it for me. I'm getting absolutely no uh, tequila at all, to be honest. I'm getting a sort of kind of, I want to say oakiness about it. Well, I've, drank, I've, I've drank tequila a few times. And I've tried the dis the different ones. Res is it Respa Re Respado? The one that's slightly darker. I have tried it. I wasn't I wasn't a fan of it. I prefer the clear tequilas. Uh the proper ones, the Mexican ones, not the, the shit you get in the UK. Like the Syria the Siri R, whatever ones are called here. They're just like paint stripper. Uh and I'm quite disappointed with that, actually, to tell you the truth. If I was a, a Canada blonde, I'd be singing its praises. So I would be... If I, my memory serves me right, the blonde was about 6%. If I, I might be wrong at that, but... It's a decent blonde beer. 
don't get me wrong, it's got a nice sort of backbone, solid backbone, nice bready note to it, holds well, but <laughs> the tequila, I was expecting it to be along the lines of Desperado and the the other one that you get, is it the, oh god, I can never remember these names, I reviewed it years ago and it had that sort of like tequila note off it uh, on the taste, uh, and as I said, I've been to uh, Mexico before and I, I was drinking icebergs. And like, if anyone's been to Mexico, you know what I'm talking about. They just taste like desperados. Uh, they, they give you a, a beer and they put the margarita mix in the beer. Uh, and it's, you know, it's nice and refreshing, but I'm very disappointed in that. We'll get the eyes on and we'll see what it says about it. It says in the tin. It's a tequila cast beer. Cast mature blonde. Yeah, it is blonde beer. Says hints of lime and grapefruit. That's probably that bitterness I was picking up there. Aromas of grapefruit. <sighs> a subtle hint of tequila. My God, they must have just ran past the the broom process with a bottle of tequila. Eh, uh, that's getting no tequila in it at all. Don't get me wrong, five point one. They've stuck it in a wee silly can as well. You know what I mean? So. Is it one I'd drink again? To be honest with you, yeah, I probably would drink that again. For some reason, as it reminds me of the blonde. If anybody for anything guns watching, innocent gun is watching us, bring back a blonde and stop making shit like this. This is not a bad beer. This will appeal to someone, but it's not appealing to me. It's not. Your blonde was a great beer. I don't know why you dropped it. You've brought out stuff that's been mediocre, and uh, it sits in supermarket shelves for weeks before it sells so bring back the blonde uh, and drop this tequila cast nonsense just bring it back the way it was and it'd be a great beer and for anybody out there has tried the, the original blonde you'll know what I'm talking about if you enjoyed it so anyway rate time is it one I drink again yeah funny enough I've slagged it off yeah I would drink it again because it's got that lovely blonde breadiness uh, uh, bite to it that I quite like but it's there's no tequila in it for me. There is a wee bit of citrus I'm picking up. The bitterness I go to the back, I said in the can, it's got grapefruit in it. Uh, it, it wasn't like an IPA uh, bite to it, but it's it's school time now, and like, what am I going to give it? And it's only going to get this mark because it's uh, the blonde. It's uh, made with the blonde recipe. I, I'm going to give it a 7 out of 10. Uh, if it was one I'd revisit again, it would just hit about a six. It would just get pass marks and no more. Anything under six gets gets pissed out and never to return. Uh, but this, this, you can do better than a sentencing gun, to be honest with you. So anyway, if anybody's jumping about in Scotland and you see it and you're, you're shot, do pick it up. It might be for you. But I ain't, I ain't getting any tequila notes off that. It's a decent, it's a decent blonde beer. We have a little bit of bitterness at the back end. That's all it is. So anyway, it's a 7 out of 10 from Sophie King Drunk. So anyway, if you've had it before, you liked it, you didn't like it, you know the script. Drop a line below. And if not, hopefully catch you in another beer review real soon. Slangy Val, keep drinking the good beers out there. Ciao for now.